Item number SCP-6292 Object Class Archon Special Containment Procedures SCP-6292's containment has been deemed impossible. Civilians reporting SCP-6292 after a fifth night event are provided misinformation suggesting it is a non-anomalous human. Any further recovered historical material referencing these events is to be immediately logged and stored. To ensure that the significantly lower death rate during fifth night events remains unnoticed by the public, all Foundation actions and military operations with severe death rates are to be conducted on such days. Description SCP-6292 is a Sapien Class 12 theologically underconnected humanoid entity. It is the esophysical embodiment of the concept of death. Due to this, its physical state correlates to the phenomenon of death localized on Earth. Fifth night events are periods of time during which SCP-6292 temporarily lowers its activities, as a result creating small and almost unnoticeable periods of Omega K class scenarios on a regular basis. For more details, see Discovery. Discovery SCP-6292 has been known to the Foundation since its founding in 1870. It was originally discovered due to the widespread nature of Fifth Night Defense and their documentation throughout history. To prevent a significant decrease in death rates during these events, the Foundation has even undertaken massive organized efforts, such as the delegation of alcohol in the United States in the 20th century to prevent all Fifth Night Defense from coming altogether. Like all previous attempts, this action had no significant effect on the reduced death rate and was repealed. The anomaly has evaded Foundation contact. However, a breakthrough occurred on February 9th, 2012, during which the Foundation was able to obtain the recording of a fifth night event localized within Steve's Best, a pub located in Chicago, United States. Originally implanting SCP-6292 with a location tracker. See the following log for more details. Begin log. Recording begins with SCP-6292 sitting at a bar alongside civilians. In its vicinity, empty cups and dishes lay haphazardly. SCP-6292 appears to be severely impaired. Swing alongside the beat of a song playing inside. I'm freaking telling you. <laughs> Steve, I'm deaf. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and pigs can fly, right? First of all, screw you. <laughs> Second off, do you know how hard it is to be the goddamn human reaper? How sad it is to get caught in to send the poor little small innocent baby back to the underworld. A baby? You sent babies to the underworld? Exactly! Anyway... As SCP-6292 goes to drink from a nearby glass, the store manager is seen entering the room, pushing the bartender aside. Sir, how much have you drank so far? SCP-6292 slams his drink down onto the bar table. I'm literally the grim freaking reaper. I've <laughs> not had nearly enough to drink. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Are you freaking my boss here? <laughs> Do you know how much crap I have to deal with so that you can pop? Either you leave or I call the police and have them escort you into a prison cell. This is like 1984 by, by Stephen King. And log. Afterward, local authorities arrived soon after to apprehend SCP-6292 for indecency and public intoxication. Authorities refused being the Grim Reaper as a valid reason for releasing SCP-6292 from custody. Instead, it was released the next morning following Foundation intervention.
Update. By unanimous decision of the Foundation's Classification Department, it was later decided that any intervention with the entity or containment efforts should not be attempted due to them posing an inevitable threat of an Omega-K-class end-of-death scenario occurring. 